Right, let's make a start then, shall we? So, I have played this game before, a fair bit. But I am going to start it afresh, just for the hell of it. Oh, we're in two point county. And we've been put in charge of a brand new hospital to set up and get it working. So yeah, we start off in Hawksport. If any of you ever played the old theme hospital game, first level is literally a carbon copy of the first level from theme hospital. So this is our introduction. Is it just me or do our hospitals just not look summery enough this time of year? After a lot of scientific data analysis, I randomly decided they'd be a lot better if they were a bit fruitier. I'm not sure what that means practically, but that's why you, we have you lot. Get to it. The Superbug Initiative has launched a global project, so check the Superbug Network to contribute to the project and collect rewards. So this is like an online thing. It lets you basically research stuff with other people and that's what this is up here but it goes very slowly so first of all we can rename the foundation so let's just go with some stand up and we'll dive in and see what they want us to do with this first hospital so begin your career as a hospital administrator, learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. Hi Alex! Didn't spot you jumping in there. So, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing and probably killing a fair few patients as well? First thing to do, move around, drag edge of the screen, yada yada. Or use the keys to do it. The first thing we'll need is a reception. Patients will there when they arrive. So, items motion, select as a reception. And yeah, because it's still got the Halloween update on, we've all got spooky decorations on stuff. So we can rotate it, move it around, Put it wherever that. I'm going to push directly in front of the door. So now we need to hire an assistant to work at the reception. Well, let's have a look what happens since we've got. This is always the fun bit because these people are always crazy. So we have Lola Gherkin. So Lola's only eight hundred and seventeen dollars for the hiring fee, and her annual salaries. 6,500. So, her reference that we've got from her previous employer says she's hungry, but yeah, she's gonna get nasty when she's hungry. She's a class clown and she's an entertainer. And yeah, these compliments sound fake, so that's like a little clue that you get. Sometimes when you're looking at hiring people, it'll say something like that, and it's basically telling you that if they have any positive ones on there, they're probably lies. So even though that says entertainer, they're probably not. We've also got some fancy skills up here. So this person's good at custom services. So increased reception and retail skills. We have Laura Studmuffin, who's hygienic and a delightful dinner guest. And there's nothing there saying that that's suspicious at all. She's going to hire a group of people, she's going to be much better at the job. See there, she's faster and much better at customer service. And then we've got Cat Flob, who is good at customer services and works longer as well. But they are terribly dull, they make people bored a lot. They're hungry, so they get angry when they're hungry. But they're high energy and they apparently have excellent night vision, so. I think I'm going to go for Laura. Put Laura in there. So now we need to build a GP's office for them all to see when they come in. 
build a room, click on the rooms box first. I'm sure there's a way to change their outfits because there's Halloween outfits at the moment. Girls. Or you can apply it to one person, you can apply it to everybody, but I'm just going to apply it to her. Now. In the corridors. Now, let's get a building of GG's office. So, diagnosis, consultation, human interaction, divinate. Visit a GP at each stage, so they're going back and forth to this room a lot. So, let's build a little one here. Door at the front, at his desk where he sits, and a filing cabinet. You're listening to Harrison Wolf. And that's the basics of all of it. But you do have options here, so I always put these in. On two point to radio. Make it a bit nicer. You're listening to Harrison. Put some windows Wolf, in. The lone voice of reason. Give him a Where couple Spread some truth to all our vigilant listeners. So open your eyes and your ears. And get ready to find out what's really going on. And as you go but along, first, you can unlock lots of stuff people playing well. musical but instruments. For the Halloween stuff. Get some extra Halloween bits. Let's do a costume chest as well. Just in case he wants to switch things up a bit. And there we have a GP's office. I'm going to need a doctor to run it. Doctors, we've got Angela Bird, who has dirty habits, she's a litter and she's unmotivated. She criminally under seasons everything always. Oh, that's terrible. Horrible person. But she is good at diagnostics and at treatment. We've got Kylie Nutt, who is a compulsive mentor, so she's good at teaching other people. And a compulsive friar. She is a good GP and she's good at treating people. And then we have Fredwood Burp, who is nasty and believes he means well, so he's, he's good at upsetting people. But he is good at diagnostics and he is good at GP. So I think I'm going to go for Kylie. Announcement Copy should not be used to What costume should we give Kylie? The hospital's now open for business. Um, oh, it even changes the walk. That's cool. Yeah, let's have a pirate off the GT here. Pirate, shall we? It is based off the American healthcare system, they are basically just robbing your blind. Zoom the camera. It always gives you your objectives at the top right, so once we do all the intro stuff, it'll tell us what we actually need to do to like progress the hospital and make it better. 